3 Pro Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can add some flame, flame blasts from, a, from the hands of this poser model. It's a basic poser model that I've uh, created earlier, and actually it's a handshake. <laughs> it's not exactly a, a, a flame blast normally. So, right, what you can do, and I've, before I start, I've actually created some layers. So I've actually just created a layer, and there's an option over here to a layer and new layer. So just there, new layer. And I've added a layer above, of this model and a layer below. Now the layer below I've actually created with black as the fill. So, and to do that, you just use the fill tool here. Okay, so now just go to here, select the flame there, set the brush tool here. And now I've actually set, I find it easier in some ways to actually work without the one. I use an art pad, but I actually prefer not to use the pressure pen. And that sounds weird, but it's, uh, it seems to actually work better because it does have a tendency to really, you have to real subtle controls. And that, doing a tutorial doesn't always work with subtle. So, cancel. Right, now, just gonna quickly add the flame. So I'm just gonna just quickly add that. Now, I've done it straight away, I've done it wrong because I've actually added it to the layer I don't want to lay to. So I'm gonna show you, you can actually undo quickly. So that's undo. Now, I want to add it to that layer because I can remove that layer very quickly if I ever wanted to. So, and then just basically just create around that hand, that flame blast, and it's sort of just gonna crackling of energy and sort of actually blast out from the fingers. Just a sort of zigzag sort of design kind of cross as it crackles and cross. Again, like I say, it was a handshake before. Now it's a, a blast of fire. And again, you can, of course, add that same effect, this, and you just basically just very subtle. Is so if you do it very intense, you can create, but you can actually create, and you can just just drag that up, drag it up, but just do very soft touch with the flames, and you can have it sort of spin out, spin around as it does that, and of course you can put it obviously behind her head as well, just create a sort of crackle of energy coming out of her of her head. And of course you can actually spin that around the whole scene to make the whole scene look like flames flickering there. Okay, so once you've actually done that, of course you now go to the other layer. This is the top layer, not the actual body. So, and you can just actually just quickly remove maybe the hand or don't have to do that, but you can maybe have it sort of just subtly coming over, wisps of energy coming over like that, you know, as if it's sort of, and maybe, just on the fingers. And there you have it. You've got a quick way of creating some really quite great little flame effects, which you can, of course, then you can do layer and you can actually just merge them all and save them and maybe use it in Photoshop or other applications. I hope you found this uh, quick tutorial.